G'day and welcome back to Dark Solo Gaming in our Let's Play series here in Western Australia. So, we left you with the last episode not long ago, but uh, we are about to transition to the next night. So what we are going to do is we're going to head on over here to our Mahindra. We're going to head up to the, the farmhouse and we are going to have a sleep and then wake up the next morning. And we are going to start getting stuck in to the work we said we we're going to get into. Obviously, that is what we said we we're going to do. We're going to get the chickens up and running. We're going to buy some new equipment with the money we made from the cotton sales. And then we are going to get right back into the hard slog work here on the farm. Uh, with many, many miles of work let yet to go. So I hope everyone is doing really well. Uh, like I said, this one is being recorded pretty much exactly the same time and date, well, straight after our previous episode. So, um, we're in it. we'll bring the Mahindra right up here. Do a bit of, bit of some doughies on the grass. <clears throat> Hope the wife doesn't see us. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to just accelerate time a little bit just so we can get to the point where we can fast forward the sleep cycle. All right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to... Uh, ah, see, it's been that long since I've been in the game, I had to remember what it was. All right, we are going to sleep, and then what we are going to do is we are going to let the dog out, and so we'll be right back after we've had this sleep. Okay, so now we've had a bit of a sleep. We're uh, we're up and ready and raring to go with uh, our day's work. All right. Unfortunately, we left the Mahindra running overnight, so we haven't got much fuel left in that, but that's okay. We can get over that. It doesn't use a lot of fuel. All right, let's go over here. We're going to do a couple of things straight off the bat. We're going to go straight over and have a look at our chooks, or our chook pens, our sheds and we're going to start filling them up with chooks. We're going to head on over here, in through the gates. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six big chicken coops. So it's probably going to take some time to add the chickens here, so we might only do it to one or two then do the rest off camera. Um, just to save time and a little bit of your sanity as well as mine. All right, head on over here. And we're going to buy a one rooster. And so we're just going to sit here and just click and click and click and click and click, 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 click. So we want 100 chickens. Well, we're going to get 99 chickens, so 100 chickens at $50 a pop is going to be $5,000, so we want 4950 Actually, we spend 5000 even because of the cost of the... Um, I know we got the fee as well. All right, so 4000 we're getting close. So if I go to 4900 five thousand right confirm right let's see how many we've got uh we'll go and have a look at our animals 99 chickens and one rooter Ro rooster sorry rooter all right freudian slip okay and we head on over here to our next one so we had white chickens in the first shed in this shed we're going to have one rooster there we go. We're going to have one rooster and we're going to have black chooks. So we're going to have some black eggs. The next one will have brown chickens. And then the next three, we might just do cross pollination. We'll see how we go. <clears throat> so I'll fill up at least these first three. And then the rest of them I will do off camera in between the next episode, this episode and the next episode. But 
needless to say, all the chicken sheds will have 99 chickens plus a rooster inside of them. There we go. All right. Now, it hasn't cost as much money to do that. Five, five grand is nothing compared to the money we made with the, uh, the cotton sale. So we're going to have one rooster and we're now going to have 99 brown chickens. So we're just going to test the uh, reliability of the mouse button by clicking the living bejesus out of it until we get to $5,000 spent. So $4,950 on chooks and $50 on the rooster for this shed. So $15,000 all told. And then what we got to do is, I thought I'd gone past then. Um, then we just need to make sure that we are ready to go for looking after the chooks. One more, there we go. Confirm, and there we go. So there we got the chooks, righto. Happy as, happy as a hen in a chicken shed. All right, so we've already got some egg pallets here. So we've got these single use egg pallets. Uh, so we bought a whole pile of those, so they are there ready to go. I do need to bring over the, um... oh gee, I've just forgotten the name of the things. Um, the thing with the forks, the telehandler. <laughs> we do have to bring that over and we'll bring that over a little bit later. But for the moment, our chooks are all there. They're all nice and happy. And uh, we're gonna leave them there for now. We do need to go over and give them some feed. We'll organize that directly. Um, in fact, no, we might organize that now. What have we got? Have I got a trail around here somewhere I can use for feed? We've got the semis. I might actually need a small trailer, you know, to do the feed for the chooks. I do need a small trailer. All right. All right. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, wheat or barley. Have I got wheat or barley? Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got plenty of wheat. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the shop. We're going to buy a trailer. Now, uh, it wants to be big, but not too small either. Uh, I think um, actually, I think I have another option. Let me have a look. No, I don't. I don't have what I thought I had. All right, back to plan A. Um, 21,000 litres, 40,000 litres for the little crampy. Um, I don't want to use a semi-trailer. Let's, um, it does need to have to be manoeuvrable to go inside the chicken shed. So um, I think what we'll do is we'll take the little bandit. So we'll buy a bandit. We'll put Michelin's on it. Um, stock standard, red, that's okay. So we're gonna buy that. So it's done. Now, the other thing we said we're gonna buy in the last episode was gonna buy a new seed hawk cedar. So let's uh, have a look at that right now. So there's the seed hawk there. So it's gonna cost us $345,000. That's okay, so we can do that. So we're gonna get a seed hawk. We're gonna make this one uh, let's make this one orange. Design color can be green. Just for something. No, it doesn't look very good. Um, blue. That doesn't look too bad. And we'll make the rim color blue. No, it doesn't look very good. All right, let's make that black. Right, that looks a bit better. All right, so orange, blue, and black. So wheel set up. We're going to have rear twin wheels. We're going to make it a full up as beasty as we can, so it's gonna buy that. Okay. And then we're gonna buy the toolbar, and we're gonna buy rim color being black, and main color is gonna be orange. We're gonna buy that. There we go, so that's our seed hawk. Now, um, I was going to look at buying another tractor, wasn't I? Uh, just purely for the fact of having it. Now, it's not the T9HT series. There it is. So the class MT-800E, uh, 492 horsepower, as opposed to 419 horsepower for the low-end class Zerion. 
Um, but you know what? I think we should get it anyway. Uh, we'll go to the standard tracks. So let's um, let's buy it. <clears throat> All right. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the new class and get the Seahawk. Well, now, that's something that changed with the shot, with the bat. Where is our new gear? Where is our new gear? Down here. Right. So, change the map. Moves where everything is. So, luckily, we bought a tractor so we can actually get this thing up and running. All right. Let's... Uh, Get him started, sounds nice. Look at that lovely class green. Not a bad looking tractor at all. Much better than those other green things you see. We've got one in the shed we need to get rid of, don't we? All right, let's, um... oh, actually, we've also got the trailer in here, haven't we? All right, let's, um... I'm just gonna back you up out of the way here. Like so. <clears throat> Not a lot of room, but thankfully the uh, the tracked vehicles will turn on a dime. Literally. Right. Now we're going to send this guy, hopefully, back and we're going to hook up. Without taking out the crampy. Let's see if we're going to be able to do it. Are we going to go close? Looks like I steer the right way. Right, this back to front again. I always get these back to front. But I'm pretty sure. No, it's, that's right. <clears throat> Let's have a. I'm I'm doubting myself, so I'm gonna go have a look. I'm pretty sure it's the tender and then the the planter itself. No, I've got it back to front. See, so there you go. You're an idiot, duck. Righto. So what we'll do is we'll just fix that up by going around here like so so for all of those of you who are sitting there watching saying you're an idiot duck you're right it's a bit of an inconvenience though now being all the way down here because now it means I have to go all the way back up to the farm and fill it up before I go do any work if I want to do any work straight away but that's okay not every shop delivers directly to your door or in our instance previously to our farm that's okay there we go that's better all right and so we're going to head back up to the farm now let's have a look i haven't seen i haven't actually used this tractor at all as yet so i don't even know what the cab's like so we'll go and have a look see now that looks all right no worse than any others we've seen. Away we go, up the road. Probably should put our hazards on. <clears throat> so we'll take this back up to the farm, and then we've just got to bring a tractor back down. In fact, we might see if we can reset that trailer back to the farm so as we can uh, pick up some wheat and go feed our chickens. Not quite as quick as the zero on this thing. <clears throat> so the zero on has it in uh, in certain uh, aspects. But um, oh, I thought we'd uh, diversify just a little bit, and we've still got plenty of cash left. So uh, we're still four hundred thousand dollars ahead of where we were previously. And there we go. So our other Seahawk is now empty. So we are going to need to come back, grab that. And, uh, and refill it.
fact, we may need to buy some uh, some seed. To be honest, I don't think we've got any seed left back at the farm, so we'll need to buy some uh, some seed pallets. And they're obviously going to be down at the store, so we're going to have to take the truck uh, down there with the uh, the flatbed trailer pick up some pallets of seed and fertilizer and head back over and get that guy going again because as we can see the problem is whoops uh, whoop, 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 whoop. told you my steering wheel needs to be fixed and i didn't actually adjust that um the outside of the field has already started growing it's one of the uh the problems um in skipping the night and having your course play course set to do the um, the edge rows first you can get that exact problem where the, the crop starts growing and then you're trapped inside the crop that's growing but that's okay we're not going to do that much damage to it so uh, we'll just forget that's happened <clears throat> it's quite quiet in this cab which is which is nice but uh, <clears throat> We're uh, we're there. We're almost there. We're about well, just over halfway now. So we'll get this up and packed away. In fact, we'll probably just leave it in the yard. We won't worry about packing it away too much. And we'll grab the truck and the trailer. Head straight down. In fact, no, I'll buy the pallets just to be sure. Cause the last thing I want to do is if the if the stuff is actually spawning down there, then that's where it'll go. Um. The last thing we want to do is uh, drive down there and not have the pallets there. But uh, I can't imagine Deccan, um, the author of the map, putting in anything where the pallets mysteriously materialise at the farm as opposed to the rest of the gear materialising down at Cargill. <clears throat> so we're almost there. The farm is just coming into view now. Here's our cotton field that we've said in the last episode that's where uh, we're due to start harvesting. Wheat field. Is it wheat or soybeans? One of the two off to our right uh, is ready to be harvested as well. So we've got, uh, I think this is the last episode we had four fields ready to harvest. So um, I might have to actually slow the grow speed down to the slowest. Uh, just because it takes so long to harvest a field. Uh, by the time you harvest a field, the other fields are already ready to go. So there's no uh, way to catch up. And in fact, that's exactly what I will do. So um, once I park this, we'll slow the grow the go, the go cycle. We'll slow the grow cycle down. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, and uh, that will alleviate that little problem then hopefully it gives us more time to cycle through all of the fields instead of just uh, having them basically ready to harvest again by the time you, uh, you're finishing harvesting one anyway. <clears throat> and again, as I said in the last episode, that's, that's where um, seasons will be, uh, be fantastic. And, and certainly for a map like this, it'll certainly test you out if you're running on a smaller cycle because um, you've only got a finite amount of days where you can actually harvest and all that sort of stuff so that'll really put the pressure on if you're running a, a four times map or bigger and you're running a very short cycle for your seasons all right but here we are we're uh, about to head into the driveway <clears throat> the cedar itself towers over the tractor in. Try not to take out the sign, which we do anyway. But we've got the speed wobbles. Don't want to damage the new cedar, although it looks like we probably are. Definitely need to fine tune the uh, the steering wheel, which we'll uh, we'll have to try and remember to do after this episode. Otherwise, we'll be saying that in the next episode as well. All right, here we are. Job done. 
All right, so we've delivered that safely. Now what we need to do is... Uh, uh, have we got any seed? Let me have a look. These guys are there because they have to be refueled. Um, I've got those. Don't think there's anything in that. No, he's empty. That's all right. He's empty. Um, all right. So what we need to do is uh, go and look at our pallets. Uh, now they're 30,000 litre tanks. Um, fertiliser, that's a 3,000 litre tank. Fertiliser, 30,000 litre. All right. So a 30,000 litre tank is going to cost us $48,000. So um, we are going to buy... Oh, let me see. Two, three. So that's 90,000 litres of fertiliser. And we need to get some seed. All right, so a seed big bag of 30,000. Oh, no, you're a douchebag, Donald. Um, okay. We just stuffed up. We bought liquid fertilizer instead of fertilizer pellets. So, um, we're going to buy one, two, three. It's 90,000 litres of seed. Um, I can't sell the other. So, we're going to have to buy these. I'm going to buy one. Two, three, and there we go. That 1.2 million dollars we made uh, has now all gone. Anyway, that's all right. So let's go grab the truck, and we are going to grab the trailer, and then we're going to go down and grab the pallets, and then go refill the cedar. So it's not a uh, cheap method of purchasing. Be nice if we could produce our own seed and fertilizer, but uh, that's not an option at the moment. But hopefully, this purchase of seed and fertilizer will do us for a little while now, and uh, we should stay out of trouble. In fact, I think I may have had some feed and seed and fertilizer left over here. Now we've got an all-in-one purchase. To, in fact, I hope we've got some there. Um, we could buy it here from the seed and fertilizer all-in-one, but I decided that we'd use the bags. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. All right, let's go down and grab that, and then we'll head on over and refill our cedar. And then we'll be good to go. All right, flying down the highway. <clears throat> so there won't be a lot done in this episode most of it will just be the travelling in fact we're almost there at the end of the episode already so we are going to fly down here to the shop we're going to grab the pallets we'll head back over we'll refill the cedar and that will be pretty much this episode um, feels like we've done nothing but uh, that's okay sometimes there are days like that on the farm and what we'll then look at doing is we, are, we also have 500,000 litres of wheat we can sell. We do have to go feed our chickens. So the feeding of the chickens will be the next episode. Um, and uh, then we need to start harvesting again. So uh, I think what we might do is we might start harvesting that cotton field um, so we can get a bit of profit back in as quick as we possibly can. So I'll, I'll get two hired hands. We'll, um, we'll deal with that field and then uh, we should be all tickety boo good to go
this field over here to our right is another big field. I think it's I think it's the biggest field. Uh, he's ready to harvest, so we need to harvest that as well. So um, we're really going to have to get stuck into it. Hopefully, I can get my uh, my immigrant workers in and uh, and get some work done soon. But um, we're still negotiating for their arrival. But um, yes, when I get my little Mexican Juan here, then. Um, we should be okay, so uh, we'll see how that goes. I mean, I could get really, really desperate too and, and, and call across the ditch and see if there's any um, any locals over in the land of uh, Kiwis that may want to come over and help, but um, we'll sort of see how we go. The immigrants from over the other side of the pond, um, the, the Mexicans, they're, they're a lot cheaper than the Kiwis, so... Um, We'll probably, we'll probably bring them over. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going down here. We're going to hopefully find all our pallets. We'll quickly load them up. And, uh, and then we'll go and get our cedar running again. Hopefully. There they are. Alright, so what we need to do now is we need to just change our loading to pallets. We're going to set that to auto load. And there's our liquid fertilizer that we're not going to need as I run into the crampy. Pick all that up. Now, 90,000 liters of all of that should be more than sufficient for the uh, for this cedar. I think it's about 12,000 litre capacity. I still have that light pole. Alright, wrong side of the road. Drive out on the field and get this guy up and running again. So what we'll do is we'll offload. <clears throat> In fact, now what we'll do is we'll go on the seeded side because if I can't pick up these pallet seeds, the thing with this trailer is this trailer hasn't been updated. I think um, our Falfa, when he made this trailer, he did make it so as um, he did make it that you can't load half empty containers or anything on there, um, which was good. But now that means if you have got a half empty container, you're sort of stuck with it. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to stop the driver. We're gonna fold up the cedar. And we are going to... Unfold, whoops. We're going to... Oh, what did it do then? I changed my seed and I want to go back to wheat. There we go. Alright, now I can't remember how we had to load this guy up with these. Oh, we can just put him out. Um, refill additional tank. I don't want to do that. I want to... Hmm. 
not working how I want it. All right, what we'll do is we'll figure this out and we'll get this going for the next episode. Um, it's not working as I intended and certainly not uh, how we wanted it. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll fix it up and we'll come back in the next episode and we'll get this up and running. Thanks very much for joining us here at Duck Solar Gaming. And no matter where, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night, no matter where you are in the world, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. We'll be back here very soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. We'll see you again very soon back here at Duck Zorley Gaming. See you all later. Bye.